Hey everyone, and welcome to the channel. Again, I'm gonna show you how to turn a stylized character into a realistic metahuman using free assets on the marketplace and of course Unreal Engine 5. This video is gonna be a quick and very fast tutorial for probably your more intermediate or advanced users. If you need full step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this, make sure you check out the other video in the link description below. I go way more into detail, it's about 30 minutes long. This one's gonna be quick and dirty, so let's get started. First things first, you're gonna to wanna to download a two items from the Unreal Marketplace. So head on over to unrealengine.com slash marketplace, search for a MetaHuman plugin. You're gonna to need to download that. That's the main new plugin that allows you to take other meshes and import them to MetaHumans. And the other item you need to search is Stylized Character Kit. This here is a stylized character that's on the marketplace and it's free, so go ahead and download that and let's get started in Unreal. Next, what we want to do is let's open up the Epic Games Launcher, head over to the library, and go down to Vault. Let's search for MetaHuman. We're going to go ahead and add the MetaHuman plugin that we just downloaded, install it to your engine, whatever latest engine version you're using with Unreal. Then what you need to do is go ahead and start a new project. Then let's come back to our Vault, go ahead and search Stylize, and go ahead and add the Stylize Character Kit that we just downloaded into our project. Let's head on over to our new project. First thing we need to do is go to Settings, Plugins, and search for MetaHuman, and enable the plugin. This is, of course, gonna ask you to uh, confirm that you wanna use an experimental plugin and restart your engine. Let's go ahead and browse to our content browser, and the folder we need is SCK Casual. That is the name of the stylized character that we downloaded. Then what we're gonna do is, in this folder, let's go to Add and MetaHuman, MetaHuman Identity. Let's just give it a name, style, and let's double click on that. In here, this is where we're gonna add our mesh that we're gonna use to import into MetaHuman. Let's find out the name of the mesh that we need to use for importing in. So go back to our content browser. Let's go ahead and turn on Skeletal Mesh because I'm pretty sure it's a Skeletal Mesh. This also works with uh, Static Mesh too. So we're just gonna use the head, which is mesh underscore H underscore a1. So let's head up here, add components from mesh. Let's search mesh underscore H. There it is. Let's add that in. Now using the standard move controls like the editor, what we're going to do is get a little more in line with this head here. I also like to come up here, choose field of view of 25, just so we can zoom in a little bit more. Don't forget you can always use your scroll wheel to slow down the pan and tilt and move. And let's try to line up the AB line here. That's kind of our center point. Let's see if we can get that just about in the center. That's just gonna help it when it detects the different areas of the face. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on lit and change it to unlit here. Certain models work better lit and some models work better unlit. This one I know works pretty well unlit. Now let's choose neutral pose. And up here, you're gonna see promote frame. Go ahead and promote the frame. And down at the bottom here, you're gonna see frame zero. Let's right click on that and auto tracking on. Your first auto track will take a little while. It's gonna add it to the memory and load it in. Once it's done it, you're gonna see it's gonna find the eyeballs, the mouth area, and part of the face. As you can see, it's done a pretty good job of finding everything that we need. If there are some changes that we need to make, let's come down here, right click, lock camera. What this is gonna allow us to do is zoom in and pan around using the right mouse button. If you see any lines or anything that are out of place, you can either select a complete line like that or just select a single point and move it around to your liking. This looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and choose our body. You have to choose one now, but you can always change it later if you don't like it. So we're just gonna choose a fit male and average height. Now let's head on up to MetaHuman Identity Solve. Let's click that. And now what we can do is click A and B. And this is actually gonna show us a pretty good detailed look of what our metahuman's actually gonna come across as. Now, let's go ahead and click on Mesh to Metahuman. This part here actually goes ahead and sends it up to the servers where Epic Games and Metahuman are gonna take care of all their heavy lifting for you. Depending on your internet connection and of course the load of the Epic Games servers and Metahuman, um, this may take a while. When the upload has been completed, you can see here it pops up and says your Metahuman is now available in the creator and bridge. To get to MetaHuman Creator, type in metahuman.unrealengine.com and you're going to be presented with this screen here. Make sure you use the latest version of uh, MetaHuman that they have available. Go ahead, you might need to log into your Epic Games account and this does take a while sometimes to get logged in. 
Once the MetaHuman Creator launches, you'll be presented with your project should be the very first one that we just uploaded here. You can take a quick look. Yep, that's him. Let's head on in, press edit selected. The new features here are custom mesh. So under this section, what this does is it allows you to check the different areas of the face and we're gonna adjust how much the influence of our imported mesh is compared to a standard MetaHuman. If you see here under region influence, one equals basically 100% that your mesh is going to influence that area. If you bring it down, that means it'll be more standardized. Let's take a look at the nose real quick. Pretty simple, one now, you can see his nose. If I bring that down, you can see how it kind of turns back to a, a more normal nose. We like that stylized look, so we're gonna leave it cranked up. One thing that you always wanna check is the outer eye and inner eye area. A lot of times these can get a little buggy because of the overlapping features. So let's bring that down to about 0.3 and 0.3 there. That's probably gonna be pretty good. You can tweak it a little bit and see what happens for your particular model. If you're going through this video instead of the beginner video I linked below, then I'm assuming that you're pretty experienced with MetaHuman. From here on out, you're just gonna go ahead and choose all the other settings and normal things you wanna do like skin and hair and so forth. And when you're done, just exit out of MetaHuman. Let's head back on over to Unreal Engine and get our MetaHuman imported in. Now back in Unreal Engine, let's open up our content browser, head over to MetaHumans, whatever you named your MetaHuman, let's go into their folder and you're gonna see their blueprint there. Let's drag and drop them in and take a look. There is our realistic semi-stylized character. Now what you can do is head into our content browser, head over to the stylized character folder, turn on skeletal mesh, and you can start dropping in some of the stylized character clothing. Line it up and you're set to go. Well, I think that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you kind of like this quick version of it. If you need more help, make sure you check out the other video in the link in the description below. It's way more detailed. Um, please hit the like, thumbs up button. We'd appreciate it. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll see if I can answer them. Thanks guys and peace out.